Hi, I'm Harry Stinson. Welcome to the new condo show. Welcome to Hamilton. Welcome, most important, welcome to the Stinson School. Come on inside, let me show you around. Welcome back and welcome inside the Stinson School. And this really is the Stinson School and we really are on Stinson Street. And before I forget in my endless monologues, I remind you we are open here every single day, seven days a week from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. on the weekends and 10 to 8 on the weekdays. So drop down to the Stinson School or check our website, stinsonschool.com. So having got that out of the way, let me tell you a bit about the Stinson School. This building dates from the 1800s. In fact, the part we're in right now was constructed in 1894. The original building is even older than that. And it is just bursting with architectural character, the sort of building you will not find in Toronto, you barely even find in Hamilton. This was a rare find. And to find a building with your name on it, on a street with your name, it, it was cosmic. I just had to take a shot at this because the Stinson School brings back the candy factory memories. And the candy factory is a project that most of you will remember. It was built in the early 90s in Toronto. It was the catalyst. It was the beginning of the whole revitalization, the renaissance of downtown Toronto. In fact, a few years ago, Toronto Life cited the Candy Factory Lofts as one of the 10 most important events in Toronto's history. I thought that was pretty fabulous, but what they basically said was this changed the mindset of people towards downtown living in Toronto. And the Stinson School will likely have the same impact in Hamilton. Hamilton's a fascinating place. I moved here two years ago because of the opportunity because it seemed like there was a complete vacuum of interesting residential accommodation in Hamilton. Try driving into Hamilton along the 403 and it's a totally different world. In fact, the geography of Hamilton, and you're not going to believe this, but I'm going to compare it to Vancouver in a way. It is set in a geographic bowl. It is surrounded by hills, the mountain as they metaphorically call it here. It's a beautiful city. It's full of wonderful old buildings. And it's actually quite a dynamic contemporary city where the dominant economy is health science, academic. Hamilton now is more of a medical town, more of a university town. There's more than half a million people here. Yet, Hamilton has absolutely none of the residential infrastructure of Toronto. And that absolutely astounded me as I walked around downtown Hamilton, just getting oriented to see is there an opportunity here. And I moved to Hamilton because of that opportunity, and that's why you should consider the Stinson School as well. It's an extraordinary investment opportunity. The real estate values in Hamilton completely missed the party. For 30 years, they have not experienced the wild inflation that's happened in Toronto and other cities throughout North America. So here you can actually buy property at literally a third of the price of Toronto. And with character, there's probably double the character you could ever even find in Toronto now. The whole property uh, is covering the whole city block. You got streets on all four sides. It, it does act like as a focal point for that whole neighborhood. Our focus is to uh, design a building which is very sensitive to its environment and also uh, we pay very good attention to the details and the function of the building. We're keeping uh, very close to 100% of exterior except for the windows that needs to be replaced. But in the interior, again, we are keeping 80% uh, of the walls, floors, and everything, uh, which is, it's, it's, it doesn't get more green than that. I mean, just imagine how much virgin materials we had to use for, the, for a project of this magnitude. And, and also, on the other hand, just imagine how much waste we are diverting from the landfill. So it's, it's magnificent. The attic space is uh, basically a, a two-story high space those are going to be turned into penthouse units and they're going to have magnificent views. Each one of them will have one of the dormers within the suite and uh, it's, it's going to look totally different from the inside yet from the outside it will feel like that you're owning a piece of a castle or like a historic castle. Well we're here in one of the model suites at the Stinson School and that's actually one of the best things about visiting this site. You can walk through the entire school, you can see the rooms, you can see the views, you can appreciate the ceiling heights. It's 14 foot ceilings in here, you can see the size of the windows, they're huge windows. Again, they didn't have electric lights at that time in the 1890s. You can see the wood floors, the original maple wood floors. You could sand these for the next 200 years 
and they still have life left in them. You can see the character of even the framework, the millwork, the stones, the sandblasted brick in the basement. This is a fascinating building architecturally. A typical suite here is approximately 1,000 square feet. They actually range from 800 up to 3,000 square feet, but the average suite here is 1,000 to 1,500 square feet. The average price on that is going to be between two to 299. So very, very affordable prices. What you get, you get the wonderful space. You get a new kitchen. You get six appliances. You get parking. You get a finished space. You get a classic loft space. And again, these were classrooms. So they're the perfect size. They're 25 by 32, the high ceilings. These aren't the long bowling alley sort of lofts you see in many buildings. The ceilings are genuinely high, not nine feet. The wood floors are not plastic laminate, sort of looks like wood floors. They're real wood floors. Come on down to the Stinson School. Again, we're here every day, 10 to 6 on the weekends, 10 to 8 on the weekdays. StinsonSchool.com is a website. 289-389-1377 is the phone number. I want to talk about another very important feature here at the Stinson School, and that's the opportunity to custom design your suite. And I don't mean that it'll cost you lots more money, and I don't mean these are million dollar suites, and I'm just not talking about the penthouses. I'm talking about every suite at the Stinson School. Every purchaser will have the opportunity to work with our designer in-house at no extra cost to help you personalize and design that space. Within the cost of purchasing these clients, will have access to the kind of design expertise and the kind of customization opportunities that only exist in far more expensive projects. People are uncertain about how to proceed with the designer. And here, they don't have to make, do the research to find the designer. They don't have to research the process. It's something that's built into the purchase price. Well, now remembering that the Stinson School was a school, it had a playground. In fact, it still has a children's playground, which we're going to keep and donate to the city, so there'll be animation on the site. There's an acre and a half of land surrounding this building. These grand spaces, proud sitting in the middle of their own field. That's going to need some landscaping, so we have our own landscape architect, and Mario's going to tell you a little bit how we are going to make this building not only be looking good, but become the heart an architectural soul of this neighborhood. I, th I think that the, the children's play area specifically is something that we're really going to focus on and uh, we, we don't want to remove anything from the community right now that, that exists, something that they, they feel strongly about and uh, Harry as well feels very strongly about that so we're going to explore uh, how we enhance the, the existing playground area and actually expand it a little bit, probably incorporate some seating uh, which doesn't exist right now and make it a little bit more friendly to uh, parents as well so they can sit there with their kids while they're playing. And there's a gentleman by the name of Larry Strong here who's a professional photographer in Hamilton and he did a project last year called Hamilton 365 where every single day he profiled an individual in Hamilton, wrote a little bit about them, put it up on his website. So I did this Hamilton 365 project throughout 2008 and uh, Harry Stinson was one of my models. And I thought he was an important person to, to catch because of his vision for Hamilton. And it was basically something that I've shared as well, that this, this place is so ripe for refurbishment and it, there has so much potential here, you can't possibly lose with it, you know. I'm trying to look at all the different aspects. I mean, the, the idea is that I'm, I'm going to be photographing um, an image each day and posting it to the website for the project each day. I mean, you look at the outside of the building, it's terrific. It looks fantastic. And then as you come inside the building, I mean, there's, there's more and more pieces to it that are interesting as well. Now this is the door shot because I want to talk about this door. I want to talk about the millwork in this building. Look at this. Look at the scale. Look at the material. You do not get that in a normal condo. It's here already in the Stinson School. It's part of the building. It's part of the heritage. Like these maps. So if you're ever lost in Canada, you've got a map right here. In fact, there are things I didn't even know about. In fact, we have some maps here with countries that don't even exist. Come down to the Stinson School and see all this stuff. So if I could sum it all up, seeing is believing. The Stinson School Lofts is an incredibly visual product. The website's pretty good, stinsonschool.com, but you've really got to come down and see us. We're open every day, weekdays till 8, weekends till 6. Stinson School, 200 Stinson Street in Hamilton. I'm Harry Stinson. We're on every single night here at midnight. Again, the website, stinsonschool.com. See you later.